Well, hello everybody, it is Sophie here and welcome back to my channel. Um, I, it has been four months since I last uploaded a video and that pains me to say that because YouTubing is something that makes me so, it's such a passion of mine and um, as I'll explain to you guys in this video why I haven't been able to make videos, um, you'll kind of understand a bit of what's been going on in my life recently and I think I could say that it hasn't particularly been fabulous um, but at the same time it hasn't been completely horrible either so um, yeah I think I'm just gonna get into a few things with you guys and yeah I don't really know what else to say I'm um, hello, um, I think basically is all I have to say, and I really, really, really missed doing this, so, yeah, I'm going to hop right into the video now. <laughs> I think it's somewhere where I can start, well, if you guys just heard the wind, it's really windy here right now, um, okay, so, uh, I don't know where to start. Um, I guess the reason, well, first thing I can say is I never look like this on a daily basis. I have just done all of my makeup, took me about an hour. I have put on clothes, I have put on a beanie, um, I've done all my makeup as you guys can see and no. This is not how I look every day. This is how I look for this video because I wanted to make myself feel pretty. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just thought I'd let you guys know I have not been looking like this. Um, and this isn't the reality of what's been going on in my life for the past four months. Um, I guess the main thing I could say is I've been virtually bed bound since pretty much since I got home from my holiday I've been virtually bed bound um, and the reason I'm I guess I'm sitting in a chair right now because I can sit out for short periods of time but sitting out for over 15 minutes I, I can't do so, um, as soon as I finish filming this video, I'll be getting straight back into bed and I was in bed just before I started filming this video. So, there's a little bit of insight for you guys. Um, it sucks. You can't do anything but basically go on your phone, I don't know, read a book. It's hard to write because you're lying down. It's hard to draw, colour, do anything that involves a pen or a pencil or a colouring, I don't know, crayon marker. Um, so, yeah, that's extremely difficult. Um, as you guys know, I was walking with crutches. Um, that's become pretty hard as well because my, as you might be able to tell, I've lost a bit of weight and I have been finding it really hard because obviously in my last video, if you guys watched that, you heard that um, one of my legs was really swollen and it pretty much doesn't work anymore um, and I have only got one other, like, I've only got my other leg to use and it's 
lost all of its muscle and all of its fat so it's just a little tiny stick of bone and it's very difficult to hold up all of my body with just that little wimpy little leg so yeah it's it's hard but I manage I've got my wheelchair um, so um, I guess I've been getting a lot of comments saying that I was purposely not um, updating you guys and I was just I was in it for the fame and now that I've become famous as people like to call me I'm not famous um, <laughs> they are saying that I just I'm using you guys and I'm not in it for the right reasons and that's so it couldn't be further from the truth and those comments are just so so wrong I mean if you guys have really seen what my life has been like for the past four months some days are like hell. Some days are just sh shocking. Some days my pain is unbearable. Some days I'm so tired from my medicines that I can't even lift my head off my pillow. I take so many tablets that I can't even count them anymore. And Seeing those comments just make me, like, people have no idea what I'm actually going through. And, like, I might post one photo here and there and they get really upset and make really nasty comments because it wasn't an update photo. And, the re and they're saying, like, I can just update you guys in, like, a quick photo it'll only take a few minutes but the thing I don't think they understand and realize is I couldn't update you guys in a in a Instagram story photo the amount of stuff that has been going on in my life since I last updated you all um, is a list a mile long and I probably not going to be able to even talk about it all in this video it's it's a lot and it's hard <laughs> um the thing i don't think people realize is there's so much that has been going on and um another thing that has happened recently is my bladder basically stopped working in a way um, because my tumor has been pressing up against it um, so I've had to get in a permanent catheter and now I have to carry around a bag with me anywhere I go I've got it sitting right next to me right now it's like my permanent best friend and I can't wee by myself anymore my wee gets drained into that bag so that's just another thing that has been taken out of my um like taken out of my control um if I was telling you guys the truth one of the last things that I can really do for myself is shower and that's a horrible thing to think about that cancer has taken so much out of my life to the point where all I can do by myself is sit in a shower and wash my body. So yeah. Um, like I kind of touched on before, my medications definitely, you know, catching up with me in a way I guess you could say because um, I have definitely been having to take a a lot of naps during the day like I if I don't 
If I wake up early in the morning, early being like around 7 o'clock because I take medicines at 7 o'clock so if I don't go back to sleep after that then I'll have a, I'll go back to sleep at about, um, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock and I'll be asleep till about 1 and then I'll have another nap about, depending what time I slept till, um, I'll go to sleep at in between two and four and I'll sleep till about 6.37 so a lot of the majority of my day is also taken up sleeping and that sucks as well because all I want to do is spend time with my family and my friends and it makes it pretty hard to organize things around because my sleeping schedule is constantly changing and uh, like you could tell somebody a couple of days beforehand to come at this time and then I'll be asleep then when they come over and it sucks because I'll miss out on seeing them and it really sucks <laughs> and yeah so basically my mum has to do everything for me I can't really like well I can't you know run down the hallway and grab something to eat or run down the hallway and grab my phone or something like I have to get everybody to do stuff for me and that's hard to ask for but you know that's how it goes I don't really know if there's much else to kind of talk to you guys about at the moment I just kind of wanted to ask you guys to keep the comments positive if you can because negative Nancy's aren't nice so let's all stay happy chappies and yeah oh and one more thing um I thought I'd let you guys know I was nominated for a shorty award um and if you don't ow This is the reality of cancer. My foot is in incredible pain right now. I'm trying to get through it so I can film this video. Okay, I was nominated for a shorty award and basically that's like um, a, an influencers award kind of thing. It's a pretty, you know, prestigious title. If I may say so. <laughs> um, like a lot of my favourite YouTubers that I watch, like big YouTubers, have won awards. Like those awards, um, there's all different categories. I was nominated in the health and wellness category. Um, and there's about 10 other people, I think, in the category with me. So I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to vote. Voting ends on the 22nd. I don't know when this video will quite be up but hopefully it'll be up soon and there'll still be time for you guys to vote because I definitely think it would be an awesome thing for my family to have, you know, to always remember my, my channel and, and all the hard work that I put into it and I think it would be awesome. Yeah, so if you guys could vote, that would be really cool. Um, yeah. Well, I, I love the comment that I see a lot on like my YouTube channel, uh, my Instagram is like, are you dead yet? Like, I think she's died or I am her friend. She's dying. She's dead. Like, um... Hi, I'm still alive. <laughs> um, don't believe those people unless one of my family members has actually said something that is true. <laughs> um, and those comments, I just delete them because they give me the shits. They, they just annoy me. I, 
-hmm. Like, some people ask me if I'm scared of dying, and I'm not because I'm I'm not because I've come to terms with what's going on in my life, and I know that one day it will happen, and it's going to happen one day for everybody. So. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I just am so glad for all the time that I've been given on this earth. I didn't think that I would be given this much time and I'm so blessed to say that I have. And I made it into the new year. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's about all I have to talk about. So yeah, if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hopefully I can kind of start making videos a bit more regularly but I hope this video kind of gave you guys a bit of an insight into why there hasn't been regular videos so um yeah and don't forget to click the link in the description to vote for me for my shorty award and yeah make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and yeah I love you guys all so much and thank you for sticking around this long if you have and thank you for staying subscribed to my channel even though I went on a four month hiatus but yeah thank you all so much I love you and I couldn't do this without you guys so thank you all so much I love you all and I will see you Hey, bye guys. Mm -hmm.